Hey guys, welcome to domain 4 of the Tableau Certified Associate Consultant exam prep. This domain accounts for 38% of the overall exam and it's going to be quite heavy, so be prepared to see a lot of functions where you will be tested on the application of these functions as well as their syntax. If you don't prepare well for this domain, you may actually lose a lot of marks on these questions, so make sure you prepare well for this specific domain. All right, let's move on and take a look at the breakdown. So normally, this is where I would tell you guys which subsections to focus on. However, in this case, you need to be comfortable working with date calculations, logical functions, aggregate calculations, table calculations. So make sure you take a considerable amount of time to go over the functions, go over the syntax, and take a look at some specific examples that demonstrate the use of these functions and the differences between them. Okay, so let's jump right into our sample questions. For question number one, let's say we have a table that displays the following class hierarchy, and you need to create a calculated field that contains the data before the first period of the ID field. Which function should you use? You're going to use the split function, which will accept three arguments, your string name, the delimiter, and the token number. For question number two, we need to interpret the result of this calculation. So we know that the ceiling function will round our values up and the floor function will round our values down. So here we have 49.1, this is going to be rounded up to 50. Floor 51.2 is going to be rounded down to 51. 50 minus 51 will give you minus 1, and the absolute value of minus 1 is 1. So the answer is D. Moving on to question number 3. Here we need to identify what is returned by the following date parse function. This function allows us to convert a string to a date, so make sure you know what the output should look like, because I guarantee that you will probably see at least one question related to this function. In this question, we need to create an LOD expression that will show percent of total sales by state. For these types of questions, you need to understand how level of detail expressions work. You also need to know the differences between include, exclude, and fixed, and make sure that you're comfortable with the syntax. So I would highly encourage you guys to reproduce the same example using the Superstore dataset and play around with these statements to see what works, what doesn't work, and to try and understand why. I'm also going to give you guys one additional tip here. When you create LOD expressions, those expressions return non-aggregated values. So if you plan to reuse your LOD expression in another calculation, you have to make sure that you don't mix aggregate and non-aggregate values, because this is going to give you an error. For question number five, let's say you're analyzing a report that shows revenue generated for the period from December 10th to January 4th, and you want to calculate the average revenue per day. Which formula can you use to get the total number of days difference? So here the answer is D. You're going to use the date diff function, which can also be used to calculate the time difference in seconds, minutes, and hours. Okay, so let's have a closer look at question number six. Let's say we need to issue a certificate to every student who receives a passing score of 750 or greater on the exam. Using the table below as a reference, which statement will you use to get the following output for certificate? So first of all, we have our student IDs. We also have the title or the name of the exam, the score information, and the last field certificate is the field that we need to calculate. Now there's two correct answers here, B and C, but let's take a closer look to see why A and D are incorrect in this case. Option A is wrong because it does not account for any nulls in our data set. So if we have a score, which is missing a value, the calculation is going to output do nothing for that particular row. And that's not what we want. And D is wrong because the if null function is used to replace null values with something else. So this is not applicable in our case. So as you have seen from the questions so far, you will be required to have a deeper understanding of many different functions. For question number seven, we need to figure out what is the resulting output of the following calculation. And the answer here is A. We're basically looking at today's date, 2023 or 129, and we are subtracting one year from today's date. In question eight, we need to replace all instances of the pipe symbol with a period in the table below. So what function can we use? In this case, we can simply use the replace function. 
All right, so moving on to question number nine. What is the resulting output of the following expression? Proper dragon lady. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this function, the proper function was actually introduced in Tableau version 2022.4, so it's a fairly new function. If you guys have never heard of the proper function, make sure you go ahead and read the documentation, because you may see it on the exam. And for question number 10, we need to figure out which calculation can be used to find out the first time someone purchased more than five things to do today paths. And the answer here is B. If you guys want additional resources for studying, please do check out the description section of this video for some additional examples of functions and calculations that you need to review. Happy studying and stay tuned for Domain 5 review.